Bison Bison! Welcome back to another Bison Bison episode. Today we have a brand new story, interview with a farm animal, and brand new, Cooking with Bison Bison. Hope you enjoy. Diggy's Past, Part 1. Diggy was walking through the halls with only one thought on his mind, getting to choose his faction. He was as excited as a little kid going to the first day of school. Diggy was your average mole with nice light brown fur with a dark brown patch on his chest and no memory of his family. Like most moles, Diggy's parents donated him to the child care and he would live there until it was time to choose his faction. Today, Diggy got to choose his faction. He had two choices to choose from. He could be a dingus or a dungus. The dinguses loved to focus on making their body strong and could care less about the brain. The Dunguses focused on making their brain sharp and did very little body training. Diggy was so excited to get started with the trial day that it was very hard to wait in the long line of other moles. When Diggy finally got to the front of the line, he looked around at the two tunnels he could go through. One was the Dungus tunnel and looked very nice, and the other was the Dingus tunnel. That was very sloppy to say the least. Diggy chose the tunnel that his eyes liked the most, the Dungus tunnel. When he got to the end of the tunnel, there was a nice smell of fresh cooked worms. The table had all sorts of information scratched on them, such as the Dungus Laws. Diggy went to go and read them all, but after about three of the eight tables, he got so bored he felt like he was going to fall over and went to try out the Dingus Tunnel. The Dingus Tunnel was a very sloppy tunnel with lots of random dirt hanging from the ceiling. This one was unlike the Dungus Tunnel and smelled horribly. After looking around the Dingus exhibit for a while, Diggy knew it was time to choose. Whatever he chose would change his life forever. Diggy walked back into the big central tunnel that had the choosing cards and picked his card, put a big Dingus on it. After he put, the, put it in the box, Diggy went to the Dingus HQ. When he got there, the Dingus King assigned him to Tier A training. This was where the top commanders trained. It was a huge honor to be put straight into top tier training. The majority of the commander's training was spent digging a strange tunnel that no one knew what it was for. After training hard for five years, Diggy thinks he is ready. He walks up to the throne room door and stops right before opening it. Inside, he hears the king talking. Every day, I thought about how stupid all of those commanders were to dig the tunnel. They didn't even notice where the tunnel was going. Now the time has come. I need you to kill the Dungus King, the king stated. I will do my best to serve you, the assassin replied. Diggy jumped behind the doors just in time as the assassin threw them open. Welcome back to another interview with the farm animal. Today we will continue trying to solve the mystery of the strange noises at night. We will be asking Ginger, our chicken, if she has seen anything during the dark night. Ginger, have you seen anything at night? Well folks, now we will be able to solve the mystery of the stalker at night. Tune in next time to see who it is. Thank you for watching Interview with the Farm Animal, and we'll see you next time. Step 1. Cut down your apple tree. Step 2. Put all your apples into buckets. Step 3. Peel, cut, and spice your apples. Step 4. Let it boil down. Step 5. Enjoy your applesauce. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time to see part two of Diggy's Past, Gaming with Bison Bison, and another interview with a farm animal. See you next time, and don't forget to subscribe. Bison Bison!